There's better characters. Well, that's like her problem. There's just better characters. But I don't think she has a bad kid or anything like that. I think there's just better characters. Low settings are doing having no favors. Bro, I play on medium textures, okay? Just because every other setting is on low isn't my fault. Actually, this guy picked the same matchup that I just said don't pick. This is, a, this is really not a good matchup for Bellica. Everything I got textures on, on medium, dude. She can combo me on every rocket. Yeah, but she can't combo me because I just placed my E down. And my E comes out faster than her than her Q. And if she ever misses her Q, I just one-shot her. She's just a high skill cap character. She's like uh she's like the Richter of mages, basically. Ain't no way this guy just started drone, bro. Get some bitches, man. How about that? You think I need mana to clear wave, bro? I got AoE auto attacks. What's up? 320 gold, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, sheesh. I don't need it. I don't need mana, bro. I'll just back earlier for tier 2 Mega Cosm. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, place another one. Fuck, I missed a cannon. Or I missed a uh, minion for it. A stroll. I think it's so funny that the drone gets less value the less mana you have. Like in OP, it drains just. Like it drains like a constant percentage of your max mana. In this game, it only drains. Uh, based off of your max, or uh, your max recurrent, which is so weird to me, as like a concept. Drag the wave a little bit. Bro, how does that miss? What's up? Nice rock jungle diff. True, true. And he stole my kill. Isn't that crazy? You think you know a guy and then he takes your kill. Dude, I don't care about the drone, man. I don't got any mana for it to take. GS for a good job. Bro, what is this? What is that? Like, what? <laughs> what is that solo in rotation there? Remember what a flash play? What do you mean? What do you mean? I thought he was gonna hit the rock. And now he's inting? Oh my god, Toasty's getting reported, bro. I'm just kidding, that would never. He do be looking a bit like Gratitude right now, though. Bro, they got it. They got it. Let me just get my river buffs. Do they not actually kill him? 
I'm gonna be honest, I thought they had him. Come on, Toasty, fuck him up. Yeah, this poor crunch. <laughs> this poor guy, dude. Put Rampage only S tier if you hit your rock. Ah, uh, Rampage would still be S tier, no cap. That champ is actually just bloated out of his mind. He's just a giga frontline. Imagine if I could like last hit minions correctly. Bro. It's like I'm trying not to last hit the minions on purpose. It's really impressive actually, when you really think about it. Ain't testing all the solo lane stuff. I mean, there's not really much to test in solo lane. It's so like deceptive too to test stuff in like casuals. But this guy just wants to die. Like I'm not trying to do you like that, man. Like I'm just trying to vibe right now, and this guy like he just wants to die, and like I don't want to do it to him. Let's go double river. He's better. Just kidding. That's what he gets, bro. He wants to stay around and shit, and like, you deserve what you get. You deserve what you get. I didn't want to do it to him like that, but that's what has to happen. Alright, it's actually important I get the full wave here. Just gonna go back for a bit. Did I see Crash you play Rampage last night? I did not. You got three hit by Sparrow? That's just because Sparrow's like a lot better in this patch also i would like to see the level disparities and things like that in that game for that to have occurred or his build for that matter tower hitbox op please nerf true very true look man i'm just saying he went in zircor he got soloed coincidence i think not I went Mega Cosm, I can't secure last hits. Coincidence? I think not. They're both full build and level. I mean, it's an ADC full build. You kind of deserve to get cooked. He also, I would imagine the Sparrow went Eviscerator. Was he getting Eviscerator stacks before he went in? Like, do you have a clip of this? So I can analyze it. I don't remember patch is a joke. I actually like the patch. I think people are just coping, to be honest with you. Like the patch notes. Hit exclamation point patch. Should pull up patch notes. Can't tell me breach makes sense. What do you mean breach is good? Are you saying it's like OP or are you saying it doesn't make sense because it's good? I'm confused. I don't think he got so much distance.
This is zoning ult, zoning ult. How do you build Fizz Armor at all anymore? What do you mean? You built Tainted Guard. <laughs> what? People just need to build Tainted Guard, bro. I'm telling you. Just build Tainted Guard. It'll change your life. Literally, physical like, physical armor does damage for you. Anti-heals King's Bane so people can't just beat your head in. I'm th Just build Tainted Guard, bro. It'll change your life. King's Bane is OP. I'll give you that. But, like, it just needs a little tweaking. It'll be fine. Mid range are crystal rated so easy to get mana back. Well, I think people just... It, it's a feels-good item. Like, that's what it is. It's just a feels-good item. Same thing with Combustion. Like, it feels good, but it is, like, not as good. As people, like, want to think it is. Oh, what the fuck? Grow up. Grow up. I'm reading chat, man. I got you, Corded. Does anybody have a clip that, uh, like, we keep talking about this crashy clip that you have, or, like, this crashy thing where you get, like, two tap by a sparrow? Do you have a clip of this so I can analyze it? Give my opinion. But, like, also, ADC's late game, they should cook you. That's, that's, like, what they're designed to do is cook you late game. So it makes sense. Breach tad overtuned. Yeah, I agree. I think Breach is a little overtuned. I think Breach, it, it's not like a big like overtune though. I feel like it's one of those things that just needs a little bit of adjustment. I'm pretty sure Blood was in here yesterday saying that they're going to nerf it a little bit. Because he agreed that it was like a little overtuned. And when I mean a little, I mean like a little overtuned. Not like a lot, to be very specific. Then Clipix, your phone is too slow and kept failing. Can you go back in his bot and get it? Or is that too much to ask? I know that's like a tall ask, but I feel like it's warrants the uh, question. Like, yo, cringe. Oh, my Q doesn't go out. Pain. Cringe wards, bro. In this economy. Vanquisher being 7% health execute. I actually don't think Vanquisher is that good, to be honest with you. Like, Vanquisher is good, but I don't think the execute is the issue with the item. If you can, it's all good, Rendry. I just figured I'd ask. Plus one crit item, 25%. I mean, that's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think some crit items should be varied, uh, varied a little bit. Like, some should be 20%, some should be 15 some should be 25 I think they should vary it a little bit. Which I think would be like the next step. So I don't think you should ever really be in a game where you have 100%. I think that's just kind of bad design. Like there should always, like the, the point of crit is that there should always be some type of drawback to having it. And the drawback is that if you don't crit, it should not be as efficient. What's up? What's up, Arkham? I'm feeling good today, man. I'm feeling good. How about yourself? Trying to surrender. Oh, he doesn't actually sit on the fog wall. I thought he might. No oh, way, dude. That guy should have one HP off my rocket. I didn't think he was going to. I think getting 100% is fine. No, I think 100% uh, is not fine. Supposed to read the VODs a month ago. That's tough. Unfortunate. Yeah. 
grow up crunch. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, grow up. They couldn't handle the 2v1, so they had to pull up three. Like, come on, man. But yeah, I think I think crit in general should not be... Like, I don't think you should ever be ADC and get 100% crit without being in some type of, like, deficit. Whether that be significant amounts of attack speed, like, not having attack speed, or something like that. There's, I just think there needs to be a trade-off in uh, crits. But I don't really care about the, the current items. I don't think they're that OP. I think people just need to get used to that patch. Bring this guy grow up for two goddamn seconds. I shut the flash. What did we learn? What did we learn about being weird, man? What did we learn? What did we learn? Guy on mini. Oh, I missed the Q, man. Pain. I actually almost farmed that guy. Defeats the point of crit supposed to be RNG. Yeah, I agree. I think it's like the, like that's by design how crit is supposed to be. Or at least like how I imagine crit in most games. Is there supposed to be like some type of RNG at some point? But more consistent as a result, which is easier to balance. Well, the, the balance to crit is that it is RNG. Like that is the balance. So I kind of disagree with you in that in that regard. often struggles with crit, that philosophy. Well, this might change crit in uh, the way that it works to make it more consistent. Like, crit should always out DPS if you're critting on every single auto. That's just by design how it should work. But the thing is, you're not supposed to be able to crit on every single auto. But if you make it so that you crit on every auto, it's basically just your normal autos just do two times damage. That's basically what it is. Like, that's basically what you're doing, which I think is bad design. If that makes sense. Like your trade-off is you take 50% chance to do double damage on your auto, or you take the 100% chance to do slightly less damage per auto, but you get the on-hit effects, right? Like that should be the trade-off, in my opinion. My duo lane is straight up not having a good time. What a bad knockback. Anyways, get stacked on, idiot. Cap tenacity at 60 weapon that cap crit at 62. I think that would be bad. I think capping it is bad. I think if you want to build 100%, you should be able to, but you need to have a downside to it. The problem is that you have crit items that give you attack speed. All the crit items give you good power. All crit items give you, like, when you look at the crit items in this game, and I'm not saying they're like OP, but like you have multiple crit pen options. You have multiple crit attack speed options. You have multiple crit increase damage options. You even have crit lifesteal. You know what I mean? Like there needs to be some type of downside. In my opinion, I think they should just remove the crit lifesteal. And perhaps the crit pen. I think if you remove those, like I think if they want to keep Viper the same, I think that's fine. But I think they should change Demolisher. Like change Demolisher and change Terminus. I think it would be fine. That way you probably build like 75%, but you have to choose between like, do you want attack speed or do you want uh, like pen, you know what I mean? Like, do you want lifesteal, etc.
Concentrating both paths are viable. I mean, in smite, both paths are usually viable. Just one is generally better. Like, no matter what, no matter what build you're going in any role, you're always going to have one that is always better. Like, in mid, you're always going to have a build that's always going to be the highest DPS. But that doesn't mean you can't build other items. But that also adds, like, counterplay. Like, you can force your, your enemy team to build, like, inefficient items. Like, if I force the enemy team to build anti-heal, that means they have to build anti-heal in a situation where they're not going to have the, the highest DPS items, right? Because they have anti-heal. Which is generally a weaker DPS item, but stops your opponent from sustaining, obviously, right? Like, that's, like, the trade-off. So I think it adds more, like, counterplay in terms of building. And, like, team compositions and stuff, which I think is beneficial to the game. The other thing with, like, uh, having multiple builds, like, in Smite, like, um... Like, crit is generally less DPS against tanks. So when it's a tank meta, you generally see less crit in more, like, kin size, like, oboe, like, on hit effects. But, like, against squishy targets, you know, crit's gonna be more effective. So it usually depends on the meta as well. And I think that's kind of, like, a good way to balance it. Or, like, a way where you can have both viable, just depending on the game. The same way, like, you would build FizzD against comps that have multiple FizzD, as opposed to magic defense. Uh, you get 100% melt everyone. Uh, I wouldn't say you melt everybody, but I do think that there is, like, less of a balance factor. Like, it's like you can go full on hit and still do a lot of damage to anybody no matter what, and you can go full crit and still do a lot of damage to anybody. And I feel like it should it should be more game dependent. There's also not really a lot of good anti-crit options. You have, like, Warden's Faith. That's, like, it. But that item is really not, like, insane. And it's kind of, like, awkward to build. Oh, he got swallowed by Narb, dude. Oh, no. It's tough. Me, personally, I wouldn't let that happen to me. Be right back. Me, personally, at least. Come. The party's this way. Ones, thank you for the follow. Oh, what am I fucking not paying attention? Can't even hit the wave correctly, man. I wish I didn't play an Instacast. It's good thing it didn't matter. I wish I didn't play an Instacast because I could stay in the air longer after uh, I ult. That was filthy. Just imagine I didn't play an Insta. I wish that. I can't wait till they add um, separate options for each character. Like right now, you can change from like quick to whatever, all that kind of stuff. But I wish you could do it separately per character, because how EQ on, like, quick allows you to, like, sit in the air, and that's, like, so strong. Dude, he actually life-stealed so much, <laughs> and then he pacified my auto attack. You'd be, be able to how, uh, how EQ? Yeah, you can hover for, like, I think it's five seconds. Something like that. You can hover for a while. Like combined with stasis too, you can literally sit in the air for like nine, ten seconds. It's really, really strong. 
You can do the same thing off your uh, your mine too. Like you can mine and then Q to hover in the air, and then you can alt after. He's really really strong. From the moon boots, <laughs> did that be so funny? Make sure you flash up too, and get even higher. You can probably get pretty high actually. But like you can sit in the air like that and then like Q and just be in the air for a while. It's actually really, really strong. I'm just too lazy to switch it every game, so I just keep it on instant. Maybe you're playing against bad people. Can you get my thoughts on Prophecy Shinbi? I think Prophecy is kind of not a good item on Shinbi. Buildable? Sure. Oh, what? That hit me? No way, man. Hold on, I'm farming, boys. This guy off me. That was ours. That obelisk is so strong. Can we actually get it rolling a little bit? Like, that shit just cooks. Can you jump this, actually? You cannot. That is good to know. I think I hit the wall there. But probably is not that good. The problem with Prophecy on Chimbi is that you're not really like an auto attacker, you're a mage. So if you try to auto attack somebody in like a higher level game like against good players, they're just gonna hit you and you're gonna die. Because you can't really like stick to people like that. Just a situation where that's true. Yeah, I would agree, Sun Touch. If you can, it would be really good because it procs with your passive and shit, but I just don't think like you're allowed to do that in most games. Bruiser Mage Sev is Pog. Sev in general is Pog Champ. Probably one of my favorite characters to play. Let's go Orb, orb Time, Orb Time. Now we cook. Where are they at? Oh, let me stack this a little bit. How much power am I at right now? 500. Feels better in Pred than Overprime. Uh, to a degree, I would agree. I think stacking on players feels better in Overprime because you just get way more off of it. Yeah, I wanted the Obelisk proc him, so I wanted to see how much it did. Oh, hello, Bellica. Yeah, I'm about to flash on this guy and Obelisk proc him for his entire health bar. I got it does so much damage, bro. This shit's so funny. It's very good if you're splitting with Chimby. Does it? Does your. Damage proc on towers? It doesn't, right? Where's this crunch, bro? I gotta opus proc him. I missed! Good game. I think getting Epoch is kind of troll. It can be good. I think it's better in uh, when you have good players, because I think you can buy more time. Running Obelisk on Howie? Yes, I have Obelisk on Howie, of course.